church to the left that we've never seen in our lifetimes. Their mission is to fundamentally redesign the American polity. To turn us into a European-style welfare state where a vast government controls the economy, redistributes wealth, and forces the kind of social and economic outcomes that their mandarins want to impose on the rest of us. And what's so encouraging to me is the way the American people are rising up and saying very clearly and unambiguously, as we're saying today, we will have none of this. Because I think the people of Pennsylvania, and as I say, I suspect beyond that, they understand that the source of the greatness of our society is never government. The greatness of America is the American people. And it was the wisdom and the vision and the courage, and yes, the divine guidance of our founding fathers that designed a system where we would be free people. And the fundamental tenets of that system were to constrain the role of government to the enumerated and limited powers granted in the Constitution and to preserve for the people in the states the freedom to live our lives. So there's no question we have a government that's run amok. We have a government that is spinning out of control. We have spending that is absolutely unsustainable. One, you know, it's hard to quantify and keep track of the, the billions and the trillions. One way that I think about this is for the last 50 years, the federal government spent on average about 20% of the total economic output in this country in one, one year. This administration and this Congress took that spending to 25% of our, of our output. That is itself a 25% increase in the size of government overnight. And folks, we all know that's not sustainable. It's given us trillion dollar plus deficits, not just this year, not just next year, but as far as the eye can see. You know, I, I think we should be very, very concerned about the trajectory they've put us on. Every day we read on the front page of the paper about a little country on the edge of Europe that's jeopardizing the value of the euro, undermining the political unity of the European Union, and that's because little tiny Greece is running a budget deficit of 12.7% of GDP. Folks, we're running a budget deficit of 11% of GDP. This is not sustainable. We need to take back our government and get spending under control. Thanks.